Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri, WGN is proud to present Chicago White Sox Baseball. Tonight it's White Sox versus the Kansas City Royals. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with the White Sox series against the Kansas City Royals. And this is four games. This is going to be four in one shot because that's how my uh, video upload schedule demands that it be. So that's what we're going to do. So we will go to the game, and we've got Manuel, Dallas Keuchel at Mont Montgomery. And so, yes, play day. Let's get right into it since we have four games to do here. And uh, they are going to be uh, the computer. We are going to be at home, the human. Well, we're going to be the human. We're not going to be at home. Uh, Keuchel is going up. And I guess I like that lineup well enough. So let's get on with this. Ah, the sound. I forget the sound all the time. I'm going to leave it low, though. Because um, every time I turn it all the way down, it like the sound of me sometimes gets drowned out. I want to see if that still happens. If I have the sound low. So anyway... Got Lewis Robert starting out, and he's going to single off of uh, Montgomery. So we got Lewis Robert aboard, stealing at 80%. So let's see if he can do it. And he does. Nice. And so he's followed by Madrigal, and Madrigal hits a ground ball to second base at uh, Lopez. And was that a hit? Yes, it was. One nothing us, and we don't even have any outs yet. So Moncada's up, but he strikes out. He'll be the first out. I like how Montgomery's a plus three hole, but Madrigal is still only 10% with that. And then we got Encarnacio going deep and giving us a three nothing lead. That's sweet. You know that's sweet. And now we got a Bradu up. He'll probably get out. No, he doubles. Man, we are just uh, handing Montgomery's ass to him on a on a golden platter. So we got a uh, grand doll up, and yeah, they're already going to the bullpen. So grand doll up at the plate, he strikes out. There's two down here in the first of the first game. And we have a line out for Jimenez. And that's going to be that. So, Whit Merrifield facing Keichel. And that's going to be a fly out to, well, hopefully a fly out, but maybe not to uh, Robert. And it is. So, there's one down and Mondesi up, and he flies out to Mazzara. And uh, that brings up Jose, or is it Jose? No, what is it? Jose Soler? I don't know. Anyway, he's out. Soler is out, whatever his first name is. So we've got Mazzara up at the plate. No, ma. Mazzara, and he's going to strike out. Brings up Lurie Garcia, and he's going to ground out. But we got a 3 nothing lead here, so in game one, so I'm like I'm liking that a lot. Come into this game 19 and 11, and Robert's gonna walk, looks like. And I'm gonna try to make him steal, as he already has once, and he does it again. Does not quite have enough to get to third, but you know, Madrigal's up and can knock him in, and he does, with a double. It's four nothing, four nothing. That brings up Johan Moncada, and he's going to strike out for the third out. But we got a big commanding 4 nothing family. And that's going to be a strikeout for Dozier. That brings up Perez, the catcher, and he's going to hit a double. So Keuchel, Keuchel giving up his first uh, 
first big hit, I think, I would say. And that brings up Franco, and Franco is going to be out. That brings up Alex Gordon, the man who believes in all of his heart that Kansas City is a contending team. He's wrong, but he can believe whatever he wants, and it dropped in. Gordon got a base hit out of that. So now it's four to one, and we get we finally get the last out. McBroom is out. And that brings up Ben Canarcion, who has a homer today so far already. And we get a base hit? No. So we got a Brayu up who has a double already. And he gets a walk, so he's aboard. So far, it doesn't look, I'm not really uh, impressed with this Kansas City pitching. That brings up Grand Dahl. And they bring in Peralta, a pitch to Grand Dahl. And that's going to be a single. He rips a single, ripping it. I'm going to hold the runners because 25% is not very high. I mean, I wasn't a mathematician in school, but I don't think 25% is all that high. And then that's going to be a ground ball into a double play. So we're out of the inning anyhow. And that brings up Lopez. Nicky Lopez? I don't know. But he strikes out whoever he is. So we've got Whit Merrifield up. Whit, he's going to pop out to uh, Garcia. And we may have Anderson back after this game. It's either after this game or two games, two games from now. But I, it might be after this game. And there's a possible injury to Mondesi. But he continues on in the game. So that brings up Mazzara. Big Mazzara with a double one to 19, and he gets a 20. I knew when I saw a double one to 19, I said, watch, it'll be a 20. And it was. Uh, let's see, plus seven? Yeah, I'll try to steal. Let's see if it can happen. I mean, we're running rampant on these guys. Okay, I'm not going to do it at 25% because we've already established you don't have to be a mathematician to know that 25% is high. So that's a fly ball. And we have one out, one on, and Lewis Robert at the plate. And he walks. And now, really, Mazar is just blocking his way because he could have his third stolen base. But Madrigal's up, and he's two for two on the day, and he's going to hit a ground ball double play. So we're down there, but it's four to one. Solaire is out. He lines out, or grounds out. It's, it's supposed to line out. But. Dozier is up. Dozier hitting it to Randall. And he makes the play, and that's an out, and that brings up Perez, the catcher, and he is going to be out. So they go down quickly in the fourth. We're going to the top of the fifth. We're up 4 1. I'd like a few more runs. That would be great. But Moncada strikes out to McCarthy. And Canarcion. And Canarcion is going to fly out. The home run not very high in Kansas City's ballpark. And that brings up a brave strikeout. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. We're winning uh, four to one. And that's a fly out to Mazzara. Gordon is up. Gordon striking out. And that brings up McBroom. Ryan McBroom? I don't even, I don't know any of these guys. So that's going to be an out. And we're out of the inning. We go to the top of the sixth. And that's going to be Grandall with a single. Single, ripping it. Jimenez is up. I'm not going to try to steal with Grandall. No, I'm not. But Jimenez hits a ground ball to second base that moves Grandall to second. And that brings up Mazzara. 
and Mazar is grounding out to third, and that'll hold Grand Dollar at second. And that brings up Lurie. And Lurie with a triple one to two single. That's going to knock in a run. Sure is. Well, it, it, well, maybe not. But I'm going to send him anyway, and it better. And I'm going to send the trailing runner, too. And that's safe. So, hey, everybody, it worked out. And we got Lewis Robert up, and they're going to bring in another reliever. They're burning through their bullpen faster than... Uh, and Colonial America burned through candles. All right, so we got Lopez up against our main man, Keichel, who really could go the distance. You got to believe he could go the distance here. Merrifield with a home run one, but no, his own ballpark is hurting him. Because that will be a fly out. And that brings up Mondesi, and Mondesi walks. That brings up Orje, Orje Soler, that's what his first name is, and he gets a single. That brings up Dozier, and Dozier is going to write, and you know what, I was going to, well, maybe it's an out anyway. I was going to say, I was going to bring in, no, it falls in front of him. And of course, Keiko's tired, but we're going to keep him out there to at least get through the inning. If he can, that's another run. So it's three, four, five to three. Let's hope he can get this guy out, and he does. So Madrigal's up. He's two for three with a double on the day as we go to the top of the seventh. And that's a strikeout. Moncada's up, and Moncada is going to fly ball to left, and that's Gordon, so he's going to make the play. And uh, that brings up Encarnacion, and he's hitting a ground ball to McBroom, who's a four, so you got to believe he'll... he didn't. I was going to say, you got to believe he's going to mishandle that, but he did. So we're going to make some changes. We're going to go angle and right. Let's see. For Mazzara. And we are going to, you know what? I'm going to stick with Keiko for a little bit here. There's a walk. All right. It's, I probably shouldn't be. I'm going to pitch to McBroom with him, and he strikes him out. I'm a gambler. I live on the edge. Nicky Lopez. Singles. Come on. All right. Merrifield. I'm going a little too far, aren't I? Well, he's going to hit a fly ball to center. So there's two outs. So let's see if I can get him through with Mondesi up. And I can. There you go, the gambler, Kenny Rogers, the gambler. All right, Abreu's up, and he strikes out. Grandall is up, and he flies out. And remember, we really don't have, I mean, I don't think we have that great of a bullpen, so... Even if you're given an extra hit on Keiko's card because he's tired, that might still be better than some of our relief pitching. And we're out of the uh, eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Um, and now I am going to bring in relief pitching. We're going to go to Fry. I don't know how really intelligent an idea that is, but that's what we're going to do for right now. And there's a strikeout to Solaire. That brings up Dozier, and Dozier's going to walk. That brings up Perez, Salvador. Perez is going to hit it into a double play. Out of the eight. And Angle comes up to the plate, the defensive replacement for Mazzara. He is out. And that brings up Lurie Garcia. And he's going to hit a double. Yes, he is. 
He's going shopping at the Gap, hitting a double. And that brings up Louis Rabat, and he's going to line out. So we're going to have two down here in the top of the ninth. And Madrigal up. And Madrigal striking out. So I'm going to send Pry back out there. And that was maybe not the greatest of ideas. Although, really, any lefty would have given that up, I suppose. So it is five to four. Wait, three, four, five. Yeah, five to four. All right. Gordon up. He strikes out. McBroom up. And he's going to fly to center, hopefully. Robert can get that. No, he couldn't get it. All right, now we're in. Now it's not looking good. Lopez is up at the plate, and you got to be kidding. That is going to be at least a double and could be a home run. All right, so that's a tie game, and Fry is tired, and yeah, I'm taking him out. You know that. All right. Um, going to bring in Marshall. Marshall hits the ball to short. That's Garcia. Not good. So that allowed the run to score, and that's it. We lost. Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! We had that game won, and then we just lost it. All right. I guess I stuck a little too long with Fry. Moving on. So we will play day now. Hold on. Well, I'm just going to, I'll play the day without. Um, we'll see if they bring them up, if they bring up uh, Anderson, but. Let's see. You know what? I can do that anyway. If he's not still injured. He is. He's injured for one more day. All right. So we got Giolito going. I will. I'll go with that. Lewis Robert up the plate. That was really a big, that's a bummer, that first game. I mean, we had that game won. We should want to. Garcia up, and he strikes out. We're in the top of the first of game two against Kansas City. And Mancada is going to hit a ground ball. To base. And he beats the throw. So, uh, yeah, and Canarsie owns up, and he hits a fly ball. So, we didn't score anything there, and we're pitching to Merrifield in the bottom of the second, or bottom of the first. Fly ball for Merrifield. One out. Giolito needs to get us a win here so that we can even it up. And Solaire is up, and he walks. That brings up Dozier, and Dozier is going to hit the ball at Mendick at short. And he got him. So Abreu is up top of the second in a 0-0 game. And that's a home run one, but it's going to be a fly ball because this is Kansas City. And Kansas City, here I come does not allow very many home runs. And that brings up Grandall. He's out, and that brings up Jimenez. And he is flying out. So 
So we go to the bottom of the second. Salvador Perez is up. He is out. Ryan O'Hearn is up and he's going to strike out. Got him on one of my Stratomatic teams. And Matt Franco is up and he's going to hit a fly ball. So we lead off the third with Mazzara. And he singles. Let's start a rally, and this time let's get a ton of runs because we know these guys can potentially come back. And that's a double for Mendick over the head of Merrifield. Uh, I'm going to hold because there's no outs. So Lewis Robert hopefully can knock him in, and he can't. He's going to line out. So there's one down. Brings up Garcia. Garcia hitting a ground ball to short. That's a two. I think he's a two. Ooh, nice. An error. Single and an error. So we did score two runs there, and Mankat is up still with only one out, and he rips a single and knocks in a run. Of course, you know, the other game went like this too, and it didn't work out for us. I'm going to send the lead runner, and I'm going to hold the trailing run. And he does score, so it is 3 nothing. And Encarnacion is up, and he strikes out. And Abreu is up. And he hits a ground ball to second base. And he got him. So, yeah, I didn't have a lot of confidence we were going to string hits together there. So I went for that extra base to get home. Gordon up. Hits the ground ball to Garcia for the out. Nicky Lopez, I suppose, is out. And that brings up Merrifield, and Merrifield is going to strike out. Brings up Grandall. Grandall is grounding it out to lead off the fourth, but we have a 3 nothing lead, like we did last game. And you know how that worked out for us. Home run 1-8. to eight. Jimenez is going to take it deep and out. So it's 4 nothing, 4 nothing White Sox. Mazzara up. And he hits a fly ball. That brings up Mendick. And Mendick will walk. Mendick has been good in this series so far. Lewis Robert. And he gets a double one to 15. Let's see if we can send Mendick. There's two out, so I'm going to be inclined to do that at 75%. I'm certainly going to do it. I'm going to hold the trailing runner, and it does end up in a score for us. And it is now 5 nothing, which is what we had all of last game, and it wasn't enough. So, Artega comes up to bat against Giolito. I have no idea who Artega is. But he hit, a, he hit it on the ground to Giolito, and he's out. Soler is up, and he hits a ground ball on the ground to Giolito, and that's an out. And the pitcher, he'll be all right. All right, good. We need him to be all right. So Dozier strikes out, and we're out of fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. Moncada up. We need to really add more to this because you can see what happens when we only get five runs. We end up losing 6-5. That's going to be a single for Encarnacion. Here in top of the fifth with one out. And home run one to 17. That's going to be a two run jack for Abreu. Put it on the board. Yes. So, yeah, Lopez is tired. He's tired of getting dragged all over the park by the White Sox, is what he's tired of. 
So they're bringing in Barnes again, I, a guy I don't even know who that is. And Grandall is going to be out. That brings up Jimenez. We'll swing away with him. And he hits a home run one, but nobody ever gets that. On the fly ball, but it is 7 nothing. bottom of the fifth. Salvador is up, and he is going to be flying out as Robert will track that down. Brings up Ryan O'Hearn, and he's going to hit a ground ball to short. One away. And Matt Franco up, and he's out. And that brings up Mazzara. And we're in the top of the sixth, and he strikes out. But we have a 7 nothing lead, so I'm a little more... Uh, I'm a little more secure in that. And then uh, Robert's up with two down. And he hits a fly ball to left. And Gordon will probably make the play. And he does. And we are going to go to the... Going to go to the bench. We're going to bring in Engel for Mazzara. And uh, Gordon's up. And he hits a line out. Could have been a single. Had a good chance, but it didn't. Lopez is up, and he is going to hit a ground ball. And that brings up Merrifield, and he's walking. That brings up Ortega. Ortega strikes out. Now... Giolito, and you know my penchant for letting pitchers pitch as long as they possibly can. Giolito has a, a lot of rope here. He's got a 7 nothing lead, so I could send a tired Giolito out there for an inning or two. And I may just do that if it gets to that point. Moncada's up with one out, and he strikes out, and that's two down here in the 7th. And that brings up Ben Canarcion. And that's a home run, 1-17, to 17, and it could be gone. We'll see if they rob it. I don't know if they can or if they will, but no, they didn't. It's gone. So it's 8 nothing. So I like Giolito's chances of getting through this game. And that's a fly ball to right. And that's a bad right fielder out there. And, uh, but he makes the play. So, seventh inning stretch, and we're going to the bottom of the seventh with Solaire up. Striking out. And the computer, I'm surprised, has not even said that Gili has even pretended that Giolito was tired yet. But that's a triple right there for Dozier. So, we'll see. That brings up Salvador Perez, and he flies out to right, but that's going to score the run. And it does, and so now it's 8-1. Eight, eight, and that's a double 1-3, to three, and that's going to be a fly out. And he has gotten through 7, and certainly I'm sending him out there for the 8. Grant Dahl is going to be out on a line now to lead off the eighth inning. Jacob Barnes is tired. They're going to bring in McCarthy, who pitched last game, so he's got to be already kind of a little bit cast. That's an out, and that brings up Adam Engel. And Engel is out, and that'll be the three outs, and I want us to get out quickly and just get on to the next game, because we got this one in the bag. Strikeout for Franco. Alex Gordon up. That's going to be a fly ball. And that brings up Nicky Lopez. And he's going to hit the ball to the short to Mendick. 
and that's safe. Got through for a hit, and Merrifield is up, and he strikes out. Gilito could go the Oh, there they said he's tired, but he is going to go the distance because I doubt he'll give up eight runs. Mendick strikes out. Lewis Robert. And that's that's assuming we don't get any more here, but we probably won't. Robert's out, and that brings up Lurie Garcia, and he's going to fly out to center field. And that's that. And that brings up Ortega in the bottom of the ninth. Strikeout. The tired Giolito strikes out Ortega. Soler is up, and he strikes out. He could Let's see if he can strike out the side, tired. You don't want to take that to a resume house, but uh, whatever that is. That could be a ground ball to end the game, and it is. So, yes, Giolito helps our bullpen, and we go to 20 and 12 after having split with them in the first two, but we got two more to go. So buckle it down, strap it down, and sit back. All right, first of all, we're going to bring up um, Promote Demote. Let's see. I don't think Anderson is still injured. So we're going to bring him up for sure. And we're going to send down Cuthbert. And now we're going to go into the next game against Kansas City. And it's going to be Ronaldo Lopez against Danny Duffy. Got to like those odds. And we got Timmy Anderson. There he is. And Lopez on the mound. I like that. Uh, I guess I like that lineup. Although, you know what? I'm going to play mechanic catcher. We're going to give uh, Grandall a day off. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, we split the first two games with him, so let's see what we can do here. Timmy Anderson, back after his 15-day, 15 15-game 15 hiatus. Uh, Lewis Robert, we're swinging away with him. And he's out. And, you know, I mean, we went, what, was it 20 and 12? 20, we're 20 and 12, and 15 of those games were without. Um, and that's going to be a double for Moncada. 20 of those, or 15 of those games were without uh, Tim Anderson. That's pretty good. And that's going to be a walk for Encarnacion. And that brings up a break. Come on, you can hit Duffy. No, yeah, I guess you can't. So that's. We're out of the uh, first inning. We go to the bottom of the first with Merrifield up, and he is ripping a single. And we got a, what is that, a plus three for Lopez? Uh, that's bad. But he couldn't get a lead. So that's a strikeout for Mondesi with one down. Merrifield still at first. So Blair up, and he walks. Brings up Dozier. Dozier walks. So Lopez has put the bases loaded with only one out. All right. So Salvador is up and he rips a single double asterisk. That's going to knock in two runs. No, it only knocks in one. Wow. All right. So O'Hearn's up. Um, we were lucky there. And that's going to be a double play. Came at a very opportune time, and it's, they only scored one run in the first, and McCann is up at the plate. And he's going to hit a single. Got McCann on the board with Jimenez up in the top of the second. We're losing one nothing, and the ground ball is the second after Mickey Lopez is not in time, though. They can't complete the double play, which is good. Mazzara up, and that's going to be a catcher card, and he's a one. 
That's two away, and Garcia is up, and he's out. Up and out. So we go to the bottom of the second, losing one nothing. And Franco gets a hit off. Lopez has really pitched well for us this year, but he's not pitching especially great here. That's going to be a pop out to first for Gordon. So there's one out with Nicky Lopez up, and that strikes out. And that brings up Merrifield. And he flies out. So we got Timmy Anderson up, top of the third. And he's going to single. But Duffy's a negative four hold, so we got a Robert up. I'm not going to try to steal, and he strikes out. Brings up Moncada. And he's going to hit a single. I'm going to hold him. One out, two on, and Canarcion up, and he walks to load up the bases. So Abreu's up with the bases loaded. And that's a single. Yes, it is. Tie game. McCann up. Come on, McCann. He hits a ground ball to Nicky Lopez. Come on. Well, they let the run come in, so uh, there's going to be a uh, two down and Jimenez up at the situ plate situation. And that's a double. He rips it a double and knocks in two runs. So we got a four to one lead all of a sudden. All of a sudden, we're kicking butt and Mazzara up. And he's going to hit a ground ball hey, and get out. But we got the lead back. Oh, well, we got the lead. We didn't. We never had it in this game. But Mondesi's out, and Soler is up. Strikeout. Now we got a fresh bullpen, remember, because Giolito gave us a complete game in game two. And that's going to be a ground ball to second, and we got him. So we're going to the top of the fourth with a four to one lead. And that's ground ball to short. Mondesi's a one. That's an out. Tim Anderson's up. One for two coming back off the DL, and he gets a single. The DI, the, the ID, I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to make that a double. And it didn't work. So uh, Robert's up. And he hits a triple one. Man, that would have scored um, Anders. Well, maybe not if he had to hold it first. Moncada up and out. So we don't know. We could have scored a run there if I hadn't tried to stretch a single into a double with Anderson. But we still got a 4-1 lead. And that's going to be a single for Salvador Perez. He's two for two on the day. Ryan O'Hearn is walking, and so now Lopez is doing his slow fall apart act, which he doesn't really do very often. Ground ball to Timmy Anderson at short, and uh, that's going to be, he got the man at second, so there's one out, Gordon up, and Gordon, he hits the ball to, short, to Tim Anderson. And he does not get the... Uh, Runner at first, so a run scores, and they're still alive, and it's four to two now. And that's a ground ball to second. So Encarnacion leading off here in the fifth. We're swinging away with him, and he's out. Abreu's up. It's ground ball to short. Odyssey and Odyssey's a one. And that brings up McCann. And McCann strikes out. So we go to the bottom of the fifth in a four, with a 4-1 lead, and that's a single from Merrifield. Plus three hold on him. 
but he doesn't try, and that's going to be a single. That may extend Merrifield. Yes, it does. So runners are at the corners with no outs. So they're up. And that's going to be a strikeout. So one down. Let's hope for the double play here with uh, Dozier. And he, well, he strikes him out. I mean, you know, anything that doesn't allow the run to score, I'll take. And that brings up the Perez. And Perez lines out. So Lopez gets out of a sticky situation. And we go to the top of the sixth with Jimenez up. And we're still leading 4 2. Fly ball to left field. That's Gordon. But it's in the gap. So let's see if Gordon can track it down. But he does. Mazar is up. And that's a strikeout. And that brings up Garcia. And Garcia strikes out. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth, and that's a single for O'Hearn. Franco is up. And Franco hits a single. And Lopez is tired. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go right to the bullpen. Uh, yeah, let's bring in, let's bring in Jimmy Cordero. We haven't seen him all year. Let's see what he can do. He strikes out Gordon. That's good. That's a good start. Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez rips a uh, double. That's not a good start. So it's 4-3, and uh, that is going to be a single by Merrifield. Not good. I'm going to stop the other runner from scoring. So they got 3-5. They've got a 5-4 to four lead now. And we're going to throw for him. And he's out. Nice. McCann nailed him. And Mondesi is out. So we're down by a run now. We go to the top of the seventh, Anderson up. They bring in Barlow to pitch to Anderson, and that's a triple one to 15 or a double, and that's going to be a double ahead of Merrifield. And I am going to try to send him for a triple, yes. And I think he made it, yes. So Lewis Robert is up. Again, I'm not great at math. So uh, Lewis Robert's up with a runner at Third, 90 feet away, and no outs, and that's a strikeout. Moncada's up, and they're going to bring in Jesse Hahn to pitch to him, and he walks him. And Canarcion is up at the plate, and he strikes out. Come on. And that brings up Abreu. And Abreu is going to fly out. So we had a leadoff triple, and we couldn't score him. All right. Seventh inning stretch, bottom of the seventh. So Blair up against Cordero. That's a ground ball to third, Moncada. He's out. That brings up Dozier. Dozier with a fly ball to center. And that brings up Salvador Perez, and he's going to hit a ground ball up to third. So we're going uh, James McCann leading off here against Kennedy. Ian Kennedy, the closer. The closer, mom. And then that's a double. No, it's going to be a single. But we'll take it. Again. Top of the eighth, and that's a ground ball short. That's the one he's going to hit in double play very likely. And that brings up Mazzara. Who singles to keep us alive here in the eighth? And Garcia's up and striking out. 
All right, I'm going to go get another pitcher. Oh, no, that's the wrong team. I'm going to go get another pitcher, and that's going to be c -Sheck. He'll come in. And we are... Ryan O'Hearn is grounding out. We're down by a run, so c -Sheck needs to hold us right here. Fly ball by Frank. And that brings up Alex Gordon. And he walks. And that brings up Nicky Lopez. And that's going to be a single. Two on, two out. And Merrifield strikes out to end the threat. So we go to the top of the ninth. We need a run right here. Anderson up and he's singled. And he's four for five today. Coming off the DL. That's great. Lewis Robert, and he walks. We got two on, and we got two speedy guys on base, and Kennedy is tired. I'm not going to bunt with Moncada, and besides, they're going to the bullpen, and that's going to be a pass ball, so I don't even have to think about bunting. And now, uh, ground ball, second base, two. E4. Nice. So we have tied the game, I believe, at five. Yes, we have. And Ed Canarcion is up with a man 90 feet away, and that's another ground ball to Lopez. And uh, they had the infield in, I guess. So one out, and Abreu up, and he hits the ball to the center, and that's Merrifield, who's a three in center. A double play. They made a double play somehow. On a fly ball. All right. Mondesi up and striking out. Now, Ciszek is in his second inning of work, and history has shown me, at least, that this guy is not good in a second inning of work. But he gets the first two outs, and Dozier's up, and Dozier flies out. So let's see what we can do here in a tie game with McCann up. And that's going to be a single. McCann with a single. Jimenez up. Come on. Fly ball. So that brings up Mazzara. And Mazzara fouls out to the catcher for two down. And Lori Garcia up, and he strikes out, and we go to the bottom of the tent. And Perez is going to rip a double. That is not good, and I didn't even really want Ciszek going out there for the start of his third inning of pitching, so we are going to go get him. Um... And we got a lefty at the plate, so it would help to have a lefty come in. We'll bring in Bummer. Of course, he's going to pinch hit, and he brings up McBroom. And McBroom is going to hit a ground ball to first base. But that moves him over. I am going to bring the infield in. Let's see, game, position defense, uh, bring in field in, Franco up, and he strikes out, and uh, yeah, I don't think the infield still in, so Gordon's up, and striking out, we got out of it, but we got to get a run. Tim Anderson up and out. Four for five, and so now he's four for six. Lewis Robert up. He strikes out. And that brings up Moncada, and he strikes out. And Nicky Lopez is up, and he strikes out. Bummer in his second inning. Merrifield up and walking. 
That brings up Mondesi. Fly ball for Mondesi. There's two down. Here in the bottom of the 11th, 10th or 11th? I don't know. But anyway, that's an out. So Encarnacion is up, I think, in the uh, top of the 11th. This is the top of the 11th, I think. And that's a walk for Encarnacion. Got to figure that this Kansas City pitching can't hold up very long. That's a single for Abreu, ripping a single. We're going to hold. Yeah, we are. Although I am going to pinch run for Encanarcio. Uh, man, we've been through this, though, haven't we? Well, he's a 12 running, and Encanarcio is a 10, so that's a little better. Madrigal will come in and pinch run for him. And McCann is up, and he brings in another reliever. And that's a fly ball to center, and that is a three out there. But we got to run. All right, so uh, I guess the second runner was tagged out, but we got, hey, you know, we got the lead. And that's going to be a triple by Jimenez. It'll drive in another run and put him in third base. So Mazzara's up. We got a two-run lead. I'm loving that. And that's a single, so we got a three-run lead. Yeah, I'm liking this situation. And Garcia's up. And Garcia hits a single. Now we're just, it's a hit parade. I'm going to hold them now, 25%, again, in math. And that brings up uh, Anderson, who grounds out. Oh, and there's two outs now only. So, Lewis Robert up. Let's see if he can get something. And he can, and he knocks in another run, maybe two. Yeah, I mean, Peralta's got to be really tired. Uh, yeah, we got a four-run lead now. Moncada up. And he's going to be out. So we got a four-run lead now, and I'm going to the pen. Going to bring in... Uh, going to bring in Herrera. And he'll pitch to Dozier and walk in. Or no, he doesn't. What happened there? Nope, he's out. So, Salvador Perez, and that's going to be a ground ball to first base. And McBroom is up, and he's out. And we win it. We come back and we win it. Well, it's a good thing I'd rested my bullpen. So, we're 21 and 12 now, and that puts the Royals at 14 and 17. And uh, who pitched the most here? Well, everybody pitched two except for Herrera. So I'll send down, I think I'm going to send down c Sheck for this last game. c Sheck will go down, and I'm going to bring up um, Osich. Because that dude is money. And we're going to go to the fourth game of the series. As you can see right here, Dylan Cease against Sparkman. I'm probably going to edit this lineup, bring in some other guys, give some other guys a rest. Yeah. I'll put Engel in center, and we're going to give a rest day to Robert. Um, and Collins plays first and catcher. So we will, actually what we're going to do is put Collins at DH and give a day off to, um, and Canarcion and play ball. 
we see how this works. Tim Anderson up against the Sparkman. It's ground ball. Johan Moncada swinging it away. It's a ground ball to second. And he's out. Two down and a Brayu up. And he hits a double one to seven, but it's really going to be a single. It's nice to see a Brayu breaking out of his slump, though. His like season long slump up until like a couple of games ago. Grandall is up and he's going to hit a ground ball out. So we get no runs in the first. We go to the bottom of the first and uh, we're striking out Merrifield. Mondesi up, and that's going to be a double. Eldeberto Mondesi with a double. Solaire is up at the plate, and he strikes out, just missing a home run. And Dozier is up, and he strikes out. Brings up Jimenez in the second inning, and he's out. So one out to lead off the second for us. Mazzara up the plate. Fly ball center. Bubba Starling is out there, and Madrigal is up, and he singles. And that brings up Engel. And Engel flies out. So, Cease so pitching to Perez and strikes him out to uh, lead off the, sec the bottom of the second. And Ryan O'Hearn is at the plate and he hits a ground ball to the first. Two down. And Franco up and lining out to first. So we go to the top of the third, and Collins is going to lead it off for us. Let's see if he can get us. Whoa! Is that going to be a home run for Collins? Looks like it might be. Gone. I mean, I didn't know if he was power and or not, but I guess he is. Uh, Timmy Anderson up, and uh, he's going to hit a ground ball to short. That's Mondesi. And we got one down with Moncada up. And that's an out, and Bray was up the plate. And he hits a ground ball to the pitcher. And he's out. But we took a one nothing lead there on a Zach Collins home run. You heard it right, Zach Collins. And there's a strikeout of Gordon in the bottom, leading off the bottom of the third. And there's a strikeout of Bubba Starling. And that brings up Merrifield. And Merrifield... He's going to hit a... Uh, no, he's not going to get a hit. Looks like an 18 there for me at first. All right, Grandall up at the plate to lead off the top of the fourth. And the Sox with a one nothing lead, and he's walking. Jimenez up, and he strikes out. Mazzara up. And he walks. So we got two on with one out here in the top of the fourth. Madrigal up. And he's not going to get the single. It's going to be a line in. Two down and Adam Engel up. And he walks to load the bases. Sweetness. And Zach Collins, the man of the hour, are too sweet to be sour. And he hits a ground ball to short stops. He's not that sweet. But he bobbles the ball, and so he got on by an error. And we have a 2 nothing lead, and Anderson at the plate, and they, he hits a ground a pop out to short. So we're, we're trickling in runs, which is kind of worrisome, because we've seen that they can score a couple quickly. Mondesi's out, though, to lead off their half of the fourth. And that's going to be a line out for Solaire. 
And that brings up Dozier. And Dozier is hitting a fly ball. Right fielder X. And let's hope Mazzara grabs that. And he can't get it. Salvador hits a single. So now all of a sudden they got a little rally going on. He's with two down. And O'Hearn up. And he strikes out. Rally crushed. So that brings up Moncada. He'll swim away. And he walks. A Braves up. And he hits a ground ball to the first baseman that's going to advance Moncada to second. Grand Dahl, there's going to be a pass ball. So that moves Moncada to third with only one out and Grand Dahl up. They bring in Kyle Zimmer to pitch. And he hits a ground ball to the second baseman, who is a two. And uh, what happened there? We got our – no, we – no, we didn't. I guess they cut the runoff. So, anyway, it is um, two down, Jimenez up and Grand Dahl up for, at first, and he pops out. So, we go to the bottom of the fifth, still leading 2 nothing. Fly ball to right. That's Mazzara. Looks like he'll play it, though. One down and Gordon up, and Gordon walks. Bubba Starling up, and Bubba Starling walks. Merrifield's up to one out and two runners on, and he walks to load the bases. And Cease is tired. All right, pitching to Mondesi, though, still. And he hits a single. I'm, gonna, I'm going to throw for the lead runner. And it does it, it get him. It got him. Nice. Two down. So it's still only two to one. And that's going to be a catcher. Is going to let the ball get past him. Runners go to second and third. And uh, Solaire is out. And Solaire is out. So Cease gets out of the inning. Still leading 2-1. to one. <clears throat> Mazzara up at the plate. He'll swing away. He's out. Madrigal's up. Strikes out. And Engel up at the plate. And that's going to be a ground ball to third. That is, oh, that's not Matt Franco. That's Mikhail Franco. And he's out. All right. Um, Cease is tired, so I am going to bring him uh, out of the game. And we are going to put in Osich. Yeah. He's pitching to Dozier, and Dozier hits a double. Perez is up, and he strikes out. So there's one down, bottom of the sixth. Runner at second for Kansas City, and they're down by one. And O'Hearn strikes out, so that's two down. And that brings up Mikhail Franco, and he hits a single. Let's see what happens on that. I'm going to try, and he is uh, safe. So, tie game, I figured it was worth trying, and it's 2-2. Zach Collins up, one for two with a home run this game, and he strikes. All righty, so here we go. We have, what is it, one out in the seventh, so Tim Anderson up. And he walks. That brings up Moncada. And that's a home run for Moncada. We take a two-run lead. Yeah, we do. And then Abreu, and I was thinking of stealing, but who knows? He might have been out. 
So they bring in they bring in Barlow again, and Abreu is going to swing away and strike out, and that brings up Grandall, and he strikes out. But we did strike for two there, and we take the four to two lead with Bubba Starling up against Osich, and he rips a double. No, he's going to hit a single still. Osich is usually better than this. All right, we got Merrifield up at the plate, and he hits into a double play. Thank you, Merrifield. And that brings up Mondesi, who's two for three and triples. No, he doesn't, but he does hit a single. He's three for four now. And that brings up 4J, so Lair will let him steal. And he hits a double man. Osich is getting his butt handed to him. I'm going to try to get Osich through this inning. Yeah, I'm still going to try to get him through the inning, even though he's tired. And that is a fly ball to center. Thank you. So Kansas City does strike for a run there, and now the score is 4-3. Us with Jimenez up, and he will swing away and strike out. Mazar is up. And he's going to line out. And that brings up Madrigal. And Madrigal strikes out. So Osich is not going to stay out there, obviously. We need to bring in somebody who can get us out of this. And I'm going to go to Colomai. See if he can do it again. Perez is going to fly out. Their stadium working against him again. Bottom of the eighth. One out. Kansas City down by a run. Four to three. And... Ryan O'Hearn just hit a home run and tied the game. This is crazy. All right, Mikhail Franco is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball out. So they have two down, but they have, they're, they've tied the game already, and they're the home team. That gives them the advantage. Gordon strikes out. So we're out of the inning. Angle up. And Angle singling. Got to hope this Kansas City bad pitching comes back and nip them. And then uh, we got Collins striking out, just missing a walk. Tim Anderson up. And he's out, line out. So there's two down with Angle at first. I'll try to steal. No, I'm not going to. It went down to 30%. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, who is a one. And he let him on. I don't know. Man, Mondesi has really been playing poorly, considering he's a shortstop one. And Abreu is up, and they're going to bring in a pin, uh, new pitcher to pitch to Abreu, and he hits a ground ball out. So we got Colomay pitching to, to uh, Bubba Starling. Again, Colomay not usually a two-inning guy, but then again, I'm not the usual manager. I don't play this one-inning stuff or one batter stuff. Merrifield is on, and Mondesi up, and he strikes out. So there's two down here in the ninth of a tie game at four. And a fly ball to right, and Mazar is not going to track that down, and that actually might score the winning run. Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So Dozier's up, and he pops out. So we barely stay in the game here. Probably have to go to another reliever next inning, but right now we've got Grandall up in the top of the tent, striking out. Jimenez up, and he's going to get a catcher, and that's going to be an out, and Mazzara up at the plate, 
And Mazzara hits a home run and gives us the lead. Thank you, Mazzara. That guy has saved our butts a couple of times this, this season so far. And that brings up Nick Madrigal. And he's out. All right, now I got to go to the bullpen. We got to figure out somebody that can shut it down. And really, we don't have anybody like that. But let's let's do our best. Uh, we're going to Calvin Herrera. He's pitching to Perez and striking him out. Here in the bottom of the 10th, I believe. Ryan O'Hearn is going to hit a ground ball to Timmy Anderson. And that's an out. Two down. Ground ball to the pitcher. We take three out of four from Kansas City. Thank you. So there you go. We got it done, and we go to 22 and 12 on the year, and the Royals are 14 and 18. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off. We take three out of four from Kansas City.